All right, on to our weekly feature, Smart Farms and smallholder farmers are slowly adopting do-it-yourself tools as part of measures to improve their farming practices and cut down on their operational costs. In the recently held Africa Agri Expo, several innovators showcased different technologies that are now shaping modern farming. Our very own Dennis Ocheno tells us more on this week's Smart Farm. Soil testing is often the first step and the most crucial practice in managing fertilizer application and crop production. But the lengthy process and cost limitation has seen many smallholder farmers shy away. Innovators who attended the recently held 6th Africa Agri Expo at the KICC showcased various solutions to this and other challenges. This is a portable soil tester a technological advancement that is making the soil testing process shorter by relaying information back to farmers in real time. Normally what happens is uh, traditionally when we have to test the soil, we have to take the sample, we have to send it to the laboratory and it takes a lot of time, you know, and then the data comes in. So we land up, you know, putting all the nutrients in the farm which also affects the health of the soil and also the productivity and it's a cost to the farmer. So using such portable sensors, they can instantly collect data on random basis, maybe every day or weekly, and they immediately know what is less or what is more in the soil and then take and take corrective actions. A solution targeting smallholder farmers, especially in remote areas, to minimize losses. So you can measure moisture, temperature, the nutrient level, the EC, conductivity and the pH. So seven parameters you can instantly derive. But best part is it's very portable. Just recharge the battery like your smartphone and easy to use. The use of drones in fertilizer and pesticide application is also gaining momentum. Smallholder farmers are coming together in adopting these tools to control diseases and improve production. Now with the data collected from the initial drone, you're able to have it very particularly targeted in the form that areas that require more attention are given more attention during the, during the flight or the spreading of fertilizer or the spraying of pesticide as compared to areas that are normally green. Hence now you have economic savings in terms that you're not just blanketing the whole farm, you're putting it where it's needed, that's saving costs. And also by the fact it's a machine, it is applied evenly. Health-conscious producers and consumers were drawn to this stand, showcasing biofertilizer and other farming products deemed environmentally friendly when compared to chemical fertilizers. There is a lot of uh, uh, fertilizer already bombarded into the soil, but there is a culture which is missing, microbial organism which is missing, which will dilute it or it will fix it to the plant so that the plant utilizes this uh, nutrition. Irrigation equipment innovators were also not left out. This gun sprinkler was perhaps the showstopper, with two arms enabling it to disperse water in a complete circle. Agricultural sprinklers and irrigations, uh, all farmers can read, must read what we can do about irrigation, what, we, what can I do about irrigation for my best. The African region holds about half of the world's fertile land and yet it spends billions every year importing food. Experts reckon digital technologies and other new innovations hold the key to unlocking this potential. Denis Otieno, Smart Farm.